10 Things We Owe to the French Revolution We all know that the French Revolution inspired people all over the world to stand up and fight for their rights, spawning other social and political transformations like the American Revolution. But the movement brought to a halt by Napoleon gave us much more than a national symbol in the form of the Statue of Liberty. As humanity, we owe the French Revolution much more than a set of ideals worth pursuing. In this video, we'll explore 10 things we owe to the French Revolution that you may not have imagined. It's safe to say that our lives today would be very different without this chapter of human history. Before we embark on this fascinating journey, please subscribe to our channel, give us a thumbs up, and make sure to hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any new videos. Now, without further ado, here are the 10 most surprising things most of us didn't know, thanks to the French Revolution. Number 1. A More Humane Method of Execution Many laws around the world include capital crimes punishable by death, and in some cases, the execution can be particularly cruel. In pre-revolutionary France, the crown used several very slow and painful execution methods, such as drowning, burning, and hanging, and other more creative techniques no short of torture. The concepts of equality and humanity enforced by the revolution called for a gentler, more humane death for the condemned. In 1789, Dr. Joseph Ignace Guillotine, who was actually against the capital punishment, was commissioned to oversee the design and construction of a machine that would give a quick and less painful death. To his everlasting horror, this machine, a head chopping block, became widely popular during the horror and was nicknamed the Guillotine in his honor. How has this affected our lives today? We may not see any angry mobs yelling, OFF WITH THEIR HEADS, but the idea of providing as gentle a death as possible is a concept that has lasted throughout history and is the principle behind modern execution techniques such as the lethal injection. This is just the first item on our list. If you were surprised with this connection between the French Revolution and today's modern world, imagine what other amazing and unexpected things are on their way. Number 10 has a huge impact on all our lives today and is quite related to the next one coming up. Number 2. The Stethoscope The first thing to pop into your head when you hear the word doctor is a white coat and a stethoscope. It is probably one of the most important advances in non-invasive medical diagnostics equipment ever invented. We owe it to French doctor René Lenec, who invented it in 1816, almost two decades after Napoleon seized power and ended the revolution. Story has it that Lenec's sense of decency prevented him from placing his ear in a woman's chest to listen to her heart, so he rolled up a piece of paper and listened through it, making the first stethoscope. But why do we say that this ubiquitous invention is a consequence of the French Revolution? Because it was thanks to the many reforms in medical education that doctors like René Lenec would even consider trying to listen to their patients' internal organs in the first place. Before that, they would only talk to patients and get a surgeon to do all the dirty work if need be. We'll get back to this before the video is done, so be sure to keep watching so you don't miss a thing. Number 3. Advances in Military Communications when we think of an aircraft carrier, we think about high-tech fighter jets and the most advanced military technology in existence, not something straight out of the late 18th century. Yet, even inside these modern ships, we can still find remnants of the French Revolutionary Wars. We're talking about the Semaphore Telegraph, which was invented in 1972 in France by Claude Chap to help keep France connected while at war with several other nations. This system consists of a series of aligned towers around 5 to 20 miles apart with pivoted indicator arms that are used to transmit a message in code, depending on the direction the arms are pointing at. It is the same system used today by the landing signal officer on a carrier ship. The pivoted arms were replaced by square flags operated by the officer, and they play an essential role in helping aircrafts land safely on the ship. Number 4. The Metric System in their pursuit of standardization and socialization, the French revolutionaries gave the world the most widely adopted system of measurements known today, the metric system. The amount of different measuring units across the country before the revolution was simply insane. 
it was next to impossible for people from neighboring towns to agree on any amount, let alone from different provinces on opposite ends of the country. The metric system defined the meter as one ten millionth of the distance from the North Pole to the equator passing through Paris. It quickly spread across Europe and the rest of the world, but some countries decided to stick to the old ways. For example, Thomas Jefferson tried to adopt it in the U.S. back in 1789, and the U.S. government has tried to encourage its adoption several times from 1866 to 2004, yet all attempts have failed so far. Who knows, perhaps we'll see a metric America in the future. What do you think? Should the U.S. adopt the metric system? Join the discussion in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and give us a like. Number 5. Public Zoos Yes! We also owe those wonderful childhood memories looking at exotic animals with your parents all to the French Revolution. Zoos were the practical solution to a problem the revolution faced when they took hold of large aristocratic estates whose former owners were either dead or fleeing. Some estates had entire collections of exotic animals from all around the world, and they all needed a new place to live. The first place they found was the Jardin des Plantes in Paris, which later turned into the very first public zoo in the world. Number 6. Restaurants and high-class cuisine for all It's no secret that French cuisine is known all around the world, and that we have the French to thank for many deliciously popular recipes and cooking techniques. However, this wasn't always so. Good cuisine during the monarchy was reserved only for the upper class, while the rest of the country had to get by on bread and butter alone. The French Revolution changed all that. Cambaceres led the gastronomic revolution as much as the political revolution and popularized fine dining in France. Additionally, with so many aristocrats executed or fleeing the country, there was a huge number of cooks and chefs who were all of a sudden left without a job. This sparked the appearance of a new kind of establishment, where the average layman could buy a meal and thus, the restaurant as we know it was born. Number 7. Baguettes for All In terms of culinary history, it's sometimes hard to establish who really invented what and where. The baguette is a perfect example of this. Many believe it was originated during the revolution as a way to standardize bread across the nation. Others say it was invented to make it easier for troops to carry with them into war. Others still claim that the recipe, size, and shape of the baguette were designed to avoid it being taxed. Whichever the reason, there's no better symbol of French culture than a baguette, and it spread like wildfire across the globe. Number 8. Canned Foods Yes, canning was invented in France by Nicholas Appert in 1809 to help Napoleon feed his ever-growing army and win some pretty good money in the process. The contradiction is a little hard to swallow. On one hand, the French Revolution gave us the best cuisine our palates can taste, and on the other, they gave us the very symbol of cheap, unsavory food for the masses. Number 9. One Language for All there were numerous different dialects and languages spoken across the France before the Revolution. Even the king and his court had their own. This made it very hard to communicate effectively and made it hard to spread ideas like a democratic education for all. One of the changes that the Revolution made was to establish a single official language across all of France, one that was actually different from the one the king spoke, therefore creating the modern French language. However, Canadians were simply too attached to the crown to give up their accent, so they kept on using what we know now as Canadian French. If you're not French or Canadian, a unified language may not have affected your life in a meaningful way, but the next item on the list surely has. Here is one of the most important things we owe to the French Revolution. Number 10. Revolutionary Medicine and the Foundations for the Red Cross we're certain Dr. Guillotine had a hard time reconciling the Hippocratic Oath with his namesake machine. But what he didn't have a hard time doing was revolutionizing medicine in France. He created the first health committee in the National Assembly, and as its first chairman, he pushed the bill for medical reform in 1970. This reform included the move towards universal health coverage and socialized medicine, but the most crucial changes were made in medical education and practice. 
The practical hands-on internship approach to teaching medicine we see today in all university hospitals around the world didn't exist before the French Revolution. Back then, you would study only from a book, graduate as a physician or a surgeon, and only then would you see your very first patient as your first experiment. Pretty scary thought, right? Besides Dr. Guillotine's reforms, the French Revolutionary Wars were also the breeding ground for many more medical advances. The most important ones are, one, the concept of triage, which is essential in any hospital in the world today. Two, the invention of the ambulance and the mobile surgical unit by Dr. Pierre-Francois Percy. Three, the idea of attending the wounded in battle without taking nationality or affiliation into account setting the foundations of the International Red Cross to save all human lives in need. So there we have the top 10 things we owe to the French Revolution. Which ones do you think have a bigger impact on our lives today? Tell us in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel, give us a like, and hit that notification bell. There are more videos on the way. Thanks for watching.